a key quest here. Continuing on our playthrough from Path of Exile. I'm going to head up the pyramid. And go ahead and... Uh, move through here. As quick as can. Wait, was that from the leaf sign? <sighs> I didn't realize I did that. Oh, I thought I had the thing. Do the thing in order to do that. Okay. That's more useful. I wonder if you can do... That. That might be a better way of going. Quick, more quickly through there. You can just throw it down and then just leave. Oh. It's the range of it, though. Hmm. It's not a very big range. I'm hoping it'll be better. Uh, yeah. What's this for? Uh, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and go... Hmm. Double damage chance. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, which way first? No, I'm gonna go for this way and get a bunch of get this damage. This overwhelm status, by the way, basically is like physical penetration. Uh, basically, if the enemy has 60% physical damage reduction, it reduces it by 15, so it makes it 45. And But it cannot go into the negative, so it can go down to zero, and I think it's just additive, so if you get another 15, it'll, it'll be 30. And another 15, it'll be... You can say how it goes. And when it can't go into the negative, so that you, you do extra damage or more damage to it, but um, that's probably a pretty good effect. I actually don't know. I believe a lot of the bosses have like, as you go up in the axe, they have higher, but I think it's like 13 or 10 percent, or I mean not 10 percent. It's probably somewhere like 10 to. 60 probably towards the last boss for physical damage. Um, oh yeah, and like I said before, I am doing fire, but because what we're going to do is I'm going to get Tectonic Slam, I'm going to use that, and what it does it takes physical damage converts it so into fire, and this is going to convert it too. So as Basically, getting physical damage still supports the um, build in that it'll, it'll get it, and then it'll take the physical damage, modify the base stat, the base damage, and then modify it into fire. So it's not like it does fire and then it does nothing else. It takes the, the base of it. That's why they like say, uh, like here, I'm not here. Yes. Oh, I left one up. Okay. Yeah. Alright, it says, uh, here in the skill, or her shatter, it says, you know, deals base damage. So it's this base damage, 130% of this base damage. Uh, the tectonic slam will convert it 60% of it. So it'll take the base damage, whatever physical damage that is, apply the physical damage buffs to it, and then convert it and to decrease it further there. So getting physical damage is still a good thing to do, as long as it does some type of base physical damage. Um, there are also certain spells, like Glacial Cascade, that have a physical damage component to it, and um, these ones specifically increase melee, but there are nodes in the tree that just says increases physical damage. Um, I think there's one like, specifically for spell. Wait, I can check that really quick. It should be right over here by Assassin. Look this one. This one just increases physical damage. So because it has a base of physical damage and then it converts it, I think, newly into 100% of 
ice afterwards. You're increasing the base spell's physical damage and then applying it to ice. So it'll get benefits from both physical damage increases and ice. Increases. Um, it is quite a powerful thing, obviously. I mean, it's like, oh, that's a pretty amazing. It's like, yeah, but the enemies later on just... You're going to need the damage anyways, because that's like one of the major points of the game is just like to get as much um, damage as you can, because hey, you know what's the best kind of damage reduction? Dead enemies. They're dead, they can't hurt you no more. I'm actually going to use when I hit level 28. Or no, when I can get Tectonic Slam available to me, I'm going to switch to it. But. There, I have a level 28 um, gem for tectonic art. No, I have a plus eight quality tectonic slam gem in my bank from my other character that found the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. Um, if you find any quality gems, if they add up to when you sell them all because the ones you don't want, if they sell up to like 40%, you'll get a gem prism, I think it's called, and that allows you to level up the quality of a gem by one. And it's just basically a way to use some of these stuff that you're not using. You can't take these ones, even though I think you should be able to use them, personally, because it's like, oh, they, they should be at least count as like plus one, right? So it's like, if you have like 39, you have one of these to give you to 40, but I guess it wouldn't be hard to just go buy all the ones from the vendor and then switch them over to the things. It wouldn't make it as rare for high quality builds, I guess. I don't know. Here's just something I thought about. It reminds me of uh, just kind of uh, crafting in general in this game. I, I don't do crafting. Uh, there is a crafting meta and there's people who do videos on it. And except for in the last league where crafting was immensely easy, um, it was just, it's just something you kind of like, I think the normal people, they just take a normal quality one, hopefully it has a lot of good stuff rolled on it, or not rolled on it, but just a good base, and then just apply the RNGs Orb of Alchemy. Which is, I think, fine. Probably not the best way to build up your character. Or to get towards the maximum. But I mean, I need the maximum. And if you don't have that kind of time to go for maximum builds, it's just like, there's not a lot of point to it. And if you really wanted to, you could just actually trade your currency up to someone else who has taken, who has the time for it, has gotten the lucky roll to get the maximum. Which is one of the things I like about trading in, in general, in um, being able to trade. I know in, um, I didn't do a super good job implementing it on Diablo 3 when it first came out. This one's got a variety of currency, and the currency is used for crafting on top of it, so I, I feel it's a better system for implementation of not only being able to craft, but also being able to trade. Because it's not strictly set to gold or whatever. Because gold has no value, or had no value outside of that kind of, that trading system. And the real money stuff. You know, there's actually some people on YouTube who apparently made quite a bit of money from it daily. Just because they had the time to do that while others didn't. Alright, time to beat the boss. This will be the, actually the end of the act. It doesn't take too long, but I'm kind of going at a leisurely pace. There's a crafting recipe right here that you can actually just go get while you're waiting. I wonder if this is the longest one, or at least one of the longest ones, for 
close to spawn. I wonder if I should have. Actually, a lot of the characters can tank this at this point. Although I think the um, probably this one has so much health, it probably has the easiest time tanking it. Um, I think the witch can have a little bit of trouble with it. And the yeah, oh, you know what? I'm about to oh, I'm about to oh, I died. Never mind. You sh shouldn't tank it. Uh, I'm a noob and a scrub, so please forgive me. In fact, just ignore all my advice I give because I'm mad. And I, I shouldn't make videos saying I know what I'm talking about because I don't because I died. Okay, everyone dies. It's not a big deal. But, and until you get up to the higher levels, it doesn't really mean anything. Oh, that's right, I gotta act. Like, you know, as you get up higher and higher, you actually start losing progress in your level. And you can't go into, like, it won't drop you down a level, but you'll, like, see how I'm up to here right now, it'll actually drop you down in percentage. Which is something I don't particularly like, but... You know. It kind of, it's like, once you drop down to zero, it's not a big deal. You can just hopefully get better loot or better gear. That's why it's important to max out your defenses. And then afterwards just slam them in as so much damage as you can. Alright. So beat the boss and I'm gonna wrap it up here and I'll see you next video.